Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekly discussion around financial wellness. If you're joining us for the first time, my name is Matt Dunlap, and I'm the AVP of WellVise K, a team whose mission is to help employees with worksite financial education. Each Thursday, we will host a short educational session at noon to help with basic financial needs. I'd like to take the next 15 minutes to discuss budgeting and how to construct a budget during times of hardship. This is a critical time to plan ahead, budget, and prepare for the future. We have contact information and additional resources for you to reference at the end of this presentation. If you have any follow-up questions, please feel free to contact us. So with that, let's get started with this week's topic. We always start each week with a quote. This week comes from Henry Rollins. Why should you consider constructing a revised budget? Here are just some of the reasons that you should reconstruct your budget. Obviously, everyone should have one. Here are some reasons why you should redo it, start over, build a second one, things like that. So there's four simple steps to budgeting. Determine your monthly income. Identify your high priority bills. Estimate all other expenses. And learn new ways to save. Your first step in budgeting is to determine monthly income. Obviously, the first thing when you think of income is salary or your job. Now, even though your salary or your family's salaries are the main chunk of the income for your family, there are many other sources of income that you need to account for. Bonuses, investment income, social security, disability income, cash gifts, and now uh, with COVID-19, stimulus checks. Currently, people are receiving their stimulus checks. Let's not think of these as much as an excuse to go buy a new TV, but how we can provide the most benefit to individuals and loved ones that we care about. All forms of income should be included within a budget. And it always should be net income. Net income is the amount of money you receive after taxes and other deductions. So how much is really coming into your bank account? For more information on calculating net income, there's content on our website, welladvisedk.com. We want to follow all of our incomes and expenses on a monthly basis to start. We want to be aware of irregular income dates and planning ahead for those. Think about using a calendar or whatever system you use for events and reminders as a great tool to help you uh, adding those in. Not only is Cindy's birthday party important, but so is when your bonus comes in for the year so you can budget accordingly for that. And we want to build build on this. So we're going to start with a monthly income plan and then build to a six-month plan and eventually a yearly budget plan from an income perspective. We'll do the same thing from an expense perspective, but income always comes first. Step two, we want to identify our high-priority bills. Everyone has a different definition of what high-priority bills are, but here are some examples of what they are. Something that's not a high priority bill is Netflix or other entertainment or media services. Although during quarantine times, it might seem like it, uh, these are not high priority bills. Some bills such as insurance uh, come on different schedules or pay cycles. So we wanna standardize our expense payments. If we're paying them in different rates, we wanna either multiply or divide this, uh, however we need to in order to get them all on the same scale. We always want to compare incomes and expenses on an equal basis. Step three, we want to estimate our other expenses. After understanding and allocating funds to high priority bills, you will I ideally have some money left over for important items, extra groceries, education, gasoline, entertainment, things like that. We're going to want to prioritize every expense that we have. Uh, so list out everything that you are spending money on Put a, put a number next to it and prioritize those lists and then also put an assumed amount that you're going to spend in that category on a monthly basis. 
not what you should spend, but what you're actually spending. This is how we're going to kind of build the budget from the beginning. Through the next month, we're going to want to track your expenses and monitor the accuracy of your estimates. Uh, be honest with yourself. That's the best way to get this as accurate as possible. Once you track your expenses on a monthly basis, compare the estimate to the actual to understand how close you really were and where adjustments need to be made for the next month. Stick to your budget. It's the best, most foolproof way uh, to get to get up and running uh, with some financial tools and best practices to get ahead. It's incredible how many people are surprised with the amount of money they spend on material or unnecessary items after starting this exercise. And the fourth and final step, we want to look for new ways to save always, but especially during these times. Contact your credit card companies to ask for a rate reduction. Drink more water. Not only is water less expensive but it, and it healthy for you, but it also helps with not spending as much on sodas and other drinks that can be costly. We want to make a get grocery list and stay focused and on top of that list. Don't buy anything outside of that list and build your list in accordance with your budget to make sure that we're spending accurately based on what our budget says as well as what uh, the needs from a food perspective are for the family. Finally, eat breakfast. Uh, it keeps you wanting a big lunch and potentially going out and spending extra money on lunch. Uh, obviously, working from home, that's not as much of a temptation or an option. But when we get back to a normalcy of life and work cycle, going out for lunch and coffees and things like that can be a huge expense that can be eliminated or kind of tapered if you eat at breakfast before you leave for work or pack a lunch. There's always more tips and things that we want to provide when it comes to saving money, which can be found on our website. Other great ways to save, you know, might sound lame, or, or but coupons are a great way to help, you know, bring extra value. Here are some great coupon options uh, that you can build in accordance with your grocery list and things like that. So that's the four steps. It's determine monthly income, identify high priority bills, estimate other expenses, and then find new ways to save. Uh, if you have any questions on these steps or want more information on how to get this done, please contact us and visit us on our website. Uh, give us a call, whatever you need. Uh, we're, we'll be there to help. Please join us on Mondays at noon for our weekly mindfulness practice led by Spark 360's Director of Behavioral Health and Mindfulness, Julie Fishcorn. There's a link within our 2019 or COVID-19, excuse me, survival toolkit that can assist in getting you linked up on Mondays at noon. Be sure to come back and join us next Thursday. Uh, we'll have a great session for you then as well. In the meantime, check out our survival toolkit. There'll be tips and things to assist you in your daily financial activities uh, throughout the week. Uh, if nothing else, everyone, please be safe. Thank you for attending today and hope you have a great day.